Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I am a knight now. And I am in this awesome environment, in this awesome cave, which we're going to talk about later. Thanks to one of my patrons who hooked me up with this awesome environment, by the way. Let's talk about motion capture. I got the Perception Neuron 3. If you haven't watched that video, I do have an unboxing link in the description down below. And it works amazingly well. And oh my God, this is so much fun, guys. Just being able to look at myself in the monitor as a knight doing absolutely everything that I'm doing right now, it's really cool. Now, this is what people will call VTubing, I guess. If you don't know, VTubing is uh, when YouTubers just create a 3D avatar like you're doing, like you're seeing right here, sorry. And, and they project it on the screen and they do streams like that, which I imagine it can be really fun and I mean, if you want to see me streaming like this, streaming on Real Engine, uh, dress as a knight, I also have some other cool characters that I could do. Uh, just leave me in the comments down below if you want to see that, because this is so much fun. And as you can see, even the clothing simulation works well. So this knight over here in this skirt, I mean, it may be, it has a name, I don't know it, but it's a skirt for me. And if I go like this, as you can see, it moves pretty well. So that means that we can have clothing simulation with motion capture in real time because I'm, I'm running real time right now. What I'm doing is I'm streaming from the uh, Perception Neuron software directly into Unreal. And that is how I'm recording this. Of course, I'm using uh, NVIDIA's GPU thingy to record. Like I record every single video like that. Uh, a couple of things, what you see here with the breastplate, this doesn't have to do with the motion capture. It has to do with the weight mapping of the character. I'm not saying the character is badly done. It's just the weight mapping is probably not matching the mannequin, which is what I'm using to drive this. It's a not a complex process. It's actually a pretty easy process, which I'm of course going to showcase in the channel. I started with a mannequin. And I'm pretty sure you can add your own skeleton. I am, of course, going to do it with metahumans later on, but I just want to show you how it works. And like you see, there are things like this, like my hand looks like it's broken. Uh, this, this is a way mapping issue, maybe a retargeting issue that we can fix later on. Uh, Jay, if you're watching, by the way, JS Films is one of the guys that I watch and one of the reasons why I bought this motion capture suit. So shout out to him. Jay, I told you I would do it one day and uh, go visit his channel. He has amazing stuff on motion capture. Now, regarding Perception Neuron 3, uh, it works amazing. The setup was a little bit longer than I expected, but everything works fine. This is one of the more affordable motion capture solution. I'm not, I'm not gonna recommend it just yet. I'm gonna have a video about this uh, in, in a very close future where I talk about how I did my research and how I concluded that Perception Neuron was the best thing for what I'm trying to do. And if you didn't watch the unboxing video, which by the way is in the link down below if you want to see that, um, I also got the finger sensors because this suit, well, it's actually straps, it's not a suit. Uh, these straps actually come with the gloves, but the gloves do not come with the finger sensor. So you have to purchase those separately um, it increases the prices by a little bit, but it's not that bad. And one of the things it brings you is your thumb movement, your index movement, and your three finger movement. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't do fine motor movement. What I mean by that is um, this sensors only go as far as like I am bending my middle finger right now. Uh, I'm, I'm not flipping anyone off. I'm just bending the middle finger. And as you can see, the all the three other fingers come down instantly so that's that's what i mean by it doesn't do any fine motor stuff uh which it doesn't matter that much unless you are showcasing like surgeries and stuff so i see for medical simulation they must have like the most advanced gloves there are which i hear the managed gloves can do but those are really expensive so again, we're talking about uh, an affordable motion capture solution, which is what I will be showing you very soon. I just want you to, to uh, look at me dressed up as a knight, look at how the clothing simulation works. So I can jump and you see it, it all looks cool. 
actually got the real time shadow over here. As you can see, I'm, I'm recording this uh, real time just as if it was VTubing. And again, there's that stream that I may do uh, one day if people are interested in that. I think I'm getting out of the depth of field here because uh, I have a camera, I have a Xenon camera with a little bit of depth of field. And um, these things are hopefully behind me. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Leave me your questions down below. Let me know uh, what you want to see about this uh, motion capture suit. If you have questions that I can collect, anyone just leave them on the Discord. Leave them on the comment section. Although if you leave them on the comment section, it's going to help the video a lot. So if you please do that, that'll be amazing. The reason why I want to do that is because I am making a video where I show where I'm going to talk about my research. That means everything that I went through, looking at videos, looking at demos, talking to some of the sales reps. And that's what actually uh, finalized my decision. I want to share that with you all because I, I think it's really important to know because th this is this is the coolest toy ever, by the way. Uh, but it's it's an expensive toy. It can be real expensive, especially if you're probably outside of the US, it's even more expensive. So I want to make sure that you have all the information that you need in order to get the motion capture suit that suits your needs. Because again, the reason why I bought this is because at the time it suited my needs. My needs may increase in the future and I may end up probably getting the man's gloves. I may upgrade to another suit in the future. Uh, because I have some projects there that I cannot talk about just yet. Uh, enough of me rambling. This is, oh my God, this is so much fun. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,